seven reasons I strongly encourage my son to wear sparkly nail polish. So this is this is a fan favorite of the boys, guys, where we find just the wackiest parents that are forcing their yep. kids. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But she's got so a bit of insight on this lady is those are the kind of articles that she's been writing. I know you like to do the deep dives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually didn't look into her. Elizabeth Broadbent. So Elizabeth Broadbent is up to some wacky stuff. She's got this son, right? And most of her articles are like, you know, you know how to not make my son a rapist, like why my son's going to be gay, why I'm making my son sparkly nail polish, why I'm transing my infant. Like this is All the kind of stuff, stuff she's up to, right? And then she goes, here's seven lessons I strongly encourage to my son to wear sparkly nail polish. And he's so these are the reasons why it's great. And it is funny because it's like, if you are those, if you, if you go... It's one thing if your son's like, hey, I want to wear nail polish, but to be like, hey, let's, you know, pop it on. Of course, yeah. Like, if, you, if your kid is like, hey, now give me your hands. Like, there's one thing if you're putting your nail polish on and then your gay son comes, I would like I, some I don't too. I want to taste it out. You know, just like, that's how it happened all throughout history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Is that your gay son would be like, I, I want to have a little like bit of the action. Too, mom. And then you'd be like, oh. Here you go. Do you like that? And right. He goes, yes. And you go, ah. But she's honestly, the, it's the opposite. She keeps doing her nails in front of him, and she's like, are you not going to ask? Like, yeah, what's, yeah, what's going yeah, on uh, here? You want to, like, put down your video game controller and find out what your mother's doing right yeah, now? Yeah, what the fuck's going on here? And it is funny, because, like, it's obviously, and I get the, the like, sort of rock and roll nail polish guy. Uh, that's almost, like, not that crazy right now. Like, there's rappers right now that wear nail polish, right? So there's yeah. the first part of it where it's, like, this thing that you're, that, that like, kind of, like, wearing, like, black nail polish is, like, a fairly common style that, like, a lot of pussy crusher dudes wear. Yeah, you yeah, know what I sure. mean? So it's not even, it's not even at all that crazy. Yeah. But the truth is, she's, like, that's why she goes, it has to be sparkly. So she's turning it sparkly. And then on top of that, you're just, like, well, is your son that dude? Like, it's a very different. Like, you're, you're like, is your son like a nerdy dude? And you're like, you know what? I'll fucking send him to school or nail polish. But it's like a life five year old. Hell. She's doing this. So she literally says she has like a one, a three, and a five year old. Well, she, she probably makes them put the hands there together, and she sort of does one at the same time. Just <laughs> yeah, takes a big. What? She has a roller. Just like. Well, this is what happens when you have a mom that doesn't have. She probably doesn't have like she has her blogging job, right? So she's working from home. She's just sitting at home all day, and then she's just projecting her entire fucking, you know, life onto her kids. <laughs> so, yeah. Slash. This is what happens when your mom is a blogger. They're always on the on the lookout for new blog content. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Why I'm why I'm making my son deep throated dildo? Yeah, you're like <laughs> well, I don't know. It seems like a good idea. It seems like it seems like uh, the ladies over at your tango would like that. He either goes oh, one of two ways. Either you're like a little bitch that just does whatever your mom wants, mm -hmm. in which case you're going to be not equipped to deal with this at school if you show up and you're like telling everyone about your nail polish. Or the other way is you're going to go. Or you're going to be a guy that can like you, you can stand up to people that are different from you, and you're going to want to do the different thing of your mom because she's going to ruin right. it for you. Yes, yes, exactly. That's very well said. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to work. He'll, so th her first thing is it helps him assure his self identity, which it doesn't because it just helps him. He doesn't know his identity. He's he doesn't. One. He has no idea. Or he's three. <laughs> that I mean, there's a one, three, and a five year old. <laughs> Two of them are not even making memories at this moment, so they're, they have no identity. He's just an infant with his nail they polish. They eat and they shit. That's their identity. <laughs> well, this is like almost that. Like five is you're like okay. Ten years ago, you would have said this is like child abuse, where you go, it's like the dad that has a girl that like forces them to be a tomboy. Essentially, yeah. this is the mom version where it's like you have like a normal son and you're like trying to force him to be essentially like a gay boy. Yeah. He'll, she goes, he'll always be the boy who wore sparkly nail polish around the playground, and he was completely his own person. So she's like got this whole narrative where he's basically going to school and he's got the nail polish on. And yeah, all the kids are you like, know, he's hey. totally his own person as he's crying as I'm applying <laughs> nail polish to him. They're like, please, mom, stop. You, go, you are your own person. Now sit still. It's also a lot of this stuff too. Is like it really is like women have no idea what it's like to be a man too. Because it's like she's say, she's like and it'll be you know and the other kids will accept him more. And it's like I'm I'm telling you they won't. And it was like there's nothing worse than like a mom telling like her boy how to be a man like by giving him advice on how to be a woman. Well, <laughs> yeah. Which is what I mean. That's what she thinks a man right. should be. So let me tell you about dating. What you want to do is you're gonna put on your best outfit. <laughs> And you just sort of wait around, and then they ask you for the thing. Make them bring you flowers. Hold, have them hold the door yeah. for you. Make sure when you're with the girl, like, don't give it up too easy. <laughs> give it up. He's like, give I'm five. <laughs> I'm five. What kind of advice is this for a five-year-old? Now, when you're pulling out the schlong, 
He's doing what he likes. He's not letting an increasingly gendered child culture dictate his likes and dislikes. Sparkles make him happy. Well, it's like, yes, because at that age, like, whatever you're, like, if your dad likes football, then you're going to like football. It's like, what do you kind of just do whatever your parents tell you to do? Like, this is, the baby wants whatever his oldest brother has, but my middle son contemplates the nail polish cabinet. You're talking about a one and a three-year-old. Yeah. They don't know what a nail polish cabinet is. They don't know what nails are or <laughs> well, they're polish gonna fucking learn or if they cabinets. Want dinner. They don't know any of these things. <laughs> they're, like, learning shapes and stuff at this point, and, like, they don't know color, like... It's such a fucking... The more so is, like, the dad's probably just happy. Well, he's probably a wacko, too, but it's, like, yeah. the dating that mom, you're just like, okay, you, you, you just polish the kids up, leave me alone. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, he's, like, in the basement just sniffing that shit, being like... Oh, he's probably just so happy she hasn't fucking decided she's a they-them yet, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's... That's just a matter of when. That's 100% a matter of when. <laughs> when she runs into nail polish articles, 100% she's got a non-binary article coming yeah, real goes, soon. Hmm, what's a good one? <laughs> she gets so jealous when she sees other bloggers oh. writing articles. Like, why my husband couldn't accept that I'm non-binary? She's like, fuck, that'd be nice. Yeah, she, that was an option? <laughs> Shit. Whew. I'll tell you what, she's one article getting a lot of clicks away from t t denouncing her gender. I mean, I wish we could have some sort of, should we like set an alert for ourselves for like one year from today <laughs> to just go check check back? See if she's a boy now? If she's a, yeah, you know what I mean? Like just well, set an alarm for a, a, 2024. You just like see one, it was like, why as a mother, I'm making my three sons, and then uh, the next article a year later is like, as a dad, my three daughters... <laughs> Why, as a dad, why I'm making my three daughters join baseball? Yeah. <laughs> she goes ball the other way. <laughs> Probably. We're... He's exercising his bodily integrity. His body, his choice. So this, <laughs> it's sort of funny when you're like at school with a sparkly nail polish and everyone's like, he's got the sandals on, toes done too, and the other kids are like, fucking look at Jeremy. He's got the fucking nail polish on, and he goes, my body, my choice. <laughs> as he's getting, as he's getting like wedgy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if he goes to some like nerdy art school, school that yeah. might be fine. You, you, if he goes to an art school, this stuff might be a little more acceptable. Or if he goes full musician guy, you know what I mean? But it's hard, that stuff's probably a little harder to pull off at six. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, as you're getting like, they're putting you in the lost and found box and sitting on it. And you're just like poking his hands through my body, my choice. <laughs> Fucking... These are my nails. Blogger, female blogger is my Imagine mom telling a guy that's like beating flag. you up in high school, like to fucking my body, my choice. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Your body, my choice. This kid. is my bodily autonomy. Stop. Yeah. And you go, Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, gonna to be a no on that. He's bucking gender norms. So there, we're, there it is. There we get the real reason. He's well, not doing anything. He's but, three. But it's, just, yeah, but it's also funny being like, my son's bucking gender norms. It's like, okay, but if he doesn't want to be trans, why does he have to buck gender <laughs> norms? It's like, you only have to buck gender norms if you think you're going to be trans. She's like, what? If he's just like going to be like a normal straight dude, like why do you have to buck gender yeah. norms? Why? Yeah. Why doesn't your husband buck gender norms? Having sparkly nails lets him get the lets him question those norms. So she wants him to question things really, really young. He rises above the gender, gender dichotomy. Children are force fed. It's like which one of these two things? Like, what do you think is being more force fed? Like what she's doing, or like, <laughs> or playing with trucks? <laughs> yeah, or like yeah. a child's natural propensity to want to play with like a truck. I think if we were saying who's force feeding here, I think it's pretty obvious which of the two that's force feeding. <laughs> force feeding your four year old kid a fucking titty. Yeah, and then the other one, Titty, as well. The nail polish is one way to show him to question outdated gender norms. No matter what society thinks, this kid's going to be in a fucking dress on the bus in All no time. All three of them are. <laughs> Should adopt them. Why I send my kids to school in a bra with two oranges in the breast slots. <laughs> Balloons under their shirt. And no, it was not Halloween. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Good stuff. I like how, remember back in the good old days when uh, people would... Uh, Four years ago. <laughs> people would abuse their kids, but they'd keep it to themselves. <laughs> Generally, the abuse, it stayed in the home. People would think, they would think, I think something's bad's happening at that, that house, remember? And then now people You're are right. like, I'm going to chronicle me abusing my kids. It is so crazy. Like, this is, it is one of those things. The dad might be explaining it, like, probably encouraging it because when he's going for the custody battle and he wants to get the kids, he just literally, like, does a slideshow of all our articles in order. Yeah. <laughs> why I drank during the kids. Yeah, why I fucking... He could easily be already gone, too, though. He might be, yeah. This yeah. could be a single I mean, she mother. doesn't have one thing about the husband. 
Like my husband's a piece of shit. Nothing. So like, first of all, she probably <laughs> I, he might he might have left after her article came out. Why I call my husband my wife? <laughs> <laughs> why I'm demanding my husband refer to himself as my wife? Why I now realize that our first child was actually a product of rape? <laughs> What? Yeah, he comes down. <laughs> Honey, can we talk about this? Because uh, I got called in the uh, manager's office at work because you said I raped you, Yo, and that, that's where Charlie came from. <laughs> Yeah, just taking a peek at this new article, honey, and congratulations, really. <laughs> you know, just I'm glad you that you did bring in your, 20 bucks. Uh, <laughs> your career that's is something. A, <laughs> independent blogger, but uh, it's really fucking up my income yes you raped me and also <laughs> i'd like you to wear a dress and he goes okay um yeah all sex is rape honey <laughs> yeah oh. i don't think i'm going to be doing the dress but <laughs> again you might maybe give my old uh manager a little ring a root tell <laughs> just, her that that wasn't clear true. it up maybe Clearly air a little bit i feel like this might affect the kids getting too. some pretty bad looks down there at the plant <laughs> it's always funnier if they work at a plant no it's the best so they don't know what blogging is at the plant. Why my son has to drink a cup of cum a day. <laughs> so this is the other one. She goes, another th benefit is she goes, he knows that adults aren't always right. So it's like sort of teaching your kids that like, just because your mom tells you something, it isn't right. So that this, uh, she's really... Weird mixed message. You know what it is? It sort of is a little bit of like a girl that has like a fantasy of the bad boy. If you actually boil it deep, like she can't, like she pictures her son, like wearing the sparkly nail polish, walking down the halls, like, da -da -da -da, and the bullies come up like, hey, pussy, you guys nail polish. You go, I'm the pussy. Maybe you should think about gender norms. And everyone like sort of cheers for him. You yeah. know what I mean? And then he walks down the hall. The teacher tells him his test's wrong. And he goes, uh, hey, you're, hey, you got this answer wrong. And he goes, or did you get this answer wrong because of your white privilege? And everyone goes, Corey, 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 See, you Corey. Know, you know what, actually? If you could guarantee that culturally things would stay the same, then you actually are setting your kids up for like a better future in a way. Because they do want to be playing all these dumb games to succeed in the future. But the problem is by the time they're kids... It's already they're like, on its way out. That's what I'm saying. And they're like, I'm non-binary. And you're like, yeah, nobody gives a shit. That's 20 years ago. Nobody no, cares. they sort of got wise for, you for that. I mean, they still are for lots of stuff, though. Like, lots of the arts. And I don't know if you saw the Canadian Screen Awards, but... You know, if, if this was your mom 20 years ago in Canada, you're probably, like, thanking them when you accept, <laughs> accept your award at the Canadian Screen Awards yeah. for Best uh, Trans Two-Spirit <laughs> Native Yeah, actor. I love it. All right. In there a, was a, You know a that phrase where podcast. they say that, like, um, someone said this, but I thought it was a good way to describe, like, culture stuff where they were, like, basically they already like sort of won the war so they were shooting the survivors because yeah. it was kind of like you won the thing where it's like everyone sort of agrees racism is bad it's the worst thing to be called and it was like that's a win they're like well what next it was like you can sort of walk around and like reprimand people but you already sort of got what you wanted so that went too far and then I think that probably that's the there's some some degree it's already happening where it's like most normal people we know I don't think I know any normal dude that wouldn't agree like yeah it's obviously uh like a uh, being like a, a woman like a man transitioning to a woman's better at basketball like yeah. even the ones that were but sort then you'd of be like, like okay hold on let me just uh press record now say that and go I don't really want to right <laughs> but I think nowadays it, that's not true I think that really on the I don't think anyone's I mean, afraid Andrew, to say that one anymore this dude Andrew Bogut who plays he used to be in the NBA I follow him on uh, depends on what your job is and where he, you live he's I guess. like retired NBA player and they're in Australia they're having a this is it's kind of a first actually they are having a trans woman play with women basketball which they've done How all tall? these uh, I think pretty tall. Not like seven feet or whatever in the Australian league. In the Australian league and he's just like yeah this is crazy and then he got absolutely like piled on and then yeah, someone the, in the tw the internet and then yeah. some civilian dude who's like not in any of the stuff who works in like basketball was like just like this is kind of Maybe we should be cautious about this. And then they're like, this guy needs to be fired. Like, all that stuff. <laughs> so how long ago was that? It's like in the last couple months. It's okay. It's pretty recently, yeah. Well, I think that there's got to be, like, it's almost like the, you know, like, politicians really right now are sort of just, like, listen to, like, the most extreme people in their party and they sort of just put that into policy, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, there's... It feels to me like there's a just increasingly large 
percentage of normal people that like I don't think I don't know do you know even any like women really that I think I do but like I think even most of the women I know if would think would wa like think that men transitioning to women and playing in the WNBA is crazy yeah again yeah if they're not involved a a any reasonable person obviously <laughs> right. but some people are not reasonable I just think some the people spells, are so caught up I in think the... the spells worn off a little bit but maybe you're yeah right. I mean definitely way more women than men well, think what, that, what were the re repercussions but... to Bogut like he loses a few things no they just call him right I mean, wing but and... like got pretty tuned up for trying to do you know yeah um I, no for him he's retired I mean he's probably career earnings over a hundred million dollars he's like retired he won an nba championship he's just he's a commentator guy on twitter now and he has a podcast about basketball so not really yeah but uh i mean just people talk shit about him call him right wing because he's like i don't think he's like i'm not right wing he's like, <laughs> he's like i just don't think women men should play with women other countries are behind america though but for three or four years you have to remember that yeah i mean he is from the country of the rubber chicken comedy club so well, like literally, if you think of like Canada, like their speeches right now, it's like you know, even like taking government money to pay for all this stuff. Like it is like it, it is a bit of like a clown show over in these countries, yeah. right? Because they're just like they're a lot of these countries turn into like a fucking Portland got to be a country. Yeah, it's just like women run. One hundred percent. Well, that's why they need the men in burkas. <laughs> yeah, that's that is the ultimate payback because it's like women run, and then that that is really like one of the ultimate kind of like. Just like breaking their their whole system because you go well, if you love women, then you love a woman in a burka. Yeah, you must love. <laughs> you must really love a woman in a burka. Yeah, and double points if they sound like a man. I've been saying this a bit on stage that if probably if women were in charge, they probably wouldn't uh, be any. If women ran stuff, there wouldn't be any more wars because there'd be no money to fund the army. 